Hey there YouTube world, Matt Schwartz, The Welding Geek. On uh, this section of the video, I'm going to be showing you how I went about making the rear vent and the crest. So let's roll that video. So I've gone ahead and got my vent parts already cut out here. I cut them out of 090 3003 aluminum um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I go about forming them and putting them together. Uh, I figured you guys have seen me cut out stuff plenty of times already in this series of videos so I've got these already cut out and prepared to start fabricating on. Now this has two bend lines on it. I'm going to go ahead and bend 90 degree bends on these and what these legs are going to be for is I'm going to take it over to my shrinker and I'm going to shrink these legs and it's gonna uh, put a radius in this back bezel. As you can see here, just putting a little shrink in it um, gives it a radius. Now after I've got my radius in this back bezel, I'm gonna take it over to the, the shear and shear off the excess material. Now that I have my excess trimmed off, I have a nice bezel. Next up, I'm going to tack together my rear vent fins. I'm going to go ahead and actually mark out these cross hatches in the corners, and this is going to show me where to position them when I get ready to weld them together. So I just put a couple center marks on the little cross hatches, and then that will show me where I need to weld each part together. You can see here the center punch marks and I'll just stack up each individual piece on top of those marks and that kind of gives me the spacing that I need. Um, so I'll get these all tacked together and then I'll take it over to my, my press, my arbor press, and we'll put the radius in it. got my all my back vent fins all tacked together this is a chunk of urethane rubber I'm gonna take this chunk of urethane rubber and this is a chunk of inch and three quarter of this solid aluminum and I'm going to press this piece of aluminum into the urethane and it will give me the radius that I need um, to fit this inside my bezel now I'm gonna go ahead and fit my fins inside the bezel and the back vent should be close to being able to be mounted into the helmet. You guys remember those center punch marks I put on the back of the helmet? at the beginning well this is where they come in handy so I can get my center line on the back now I'm gonna go ahead and get the cutout laid out in the back of the helmet here so I can seat my vent bezel in the back of the helmet all nice and tidy just take a little bit and use my calipers um, straight edges and just get it fit and I'll probably cut it a little small and then I can trim the rest out so I can get that bezel to fit in there nice and tight Now that I have my lines traced on the helmet, I'm going to go ahead and use an angle head with the cutoff wheel attachment in there and cut out that little square.
now it's time to put my back vent into my helmet. Uh, I'm going to have to fit on both of the pieces, both on the helmet and on the vent, and I'm just going to go back and forth until it fits nice and snug inside the helmet. And then I'll probably go ahead and I'll tack it into place. have the vent tacked into place it's time to move on to the crest this is a piece of half inch by eighth inch um, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out some holes that I'm gonna drill with the eighth inch drill bit and this will make it easy for me to mount the crest to the helmet I'll weld it here in a little while but I want to make sure that it's in the right position and so putting these eighth inch holes in here will allow me to to lay out the front section and the back section and drill it through, pin it with the Clecos, and then I can get the center section nice and straight down the helmet. Right now what I'm doing with the Sharpie is doing a another version of annealing. Instead of using the soot from the acetylene torch, I'm using Sharpie. And Sharpie um, burns off pretty close to alum aluminum's annealing temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and use the propane torch here, since it's such a small piece, and just burn off the Sharpie marks. And then go and immediately quench it so it, it softens up the way that I need it to. So it will form nice and easily around the, the dome of the helmet. Now that this piece is nice and soft, it'll be a lot easier to work with. What I'm going to do next here is lay out this first hole on the helmet so I can Clico the, the strip on and then I will form it to the dome of the helmet and then I'll drill the other holes um, after I get everything laid out and get it nice and centered on this helmet. Alright, now that I have my strip nice and centered on my helmet, I'm going to layer up a bunch of masking tape here. And this is going to be the start of the template um, for the side pieces on the crest here. I'm just going to layer up three or four layers so it's nice and thick. And I'm going to measure out on either side here. And I'm just going to make a template and I'm going to stick this template down on the piece of aluminum to get me started on the side pieces here. It's a lot of work but it worked out pretty well. ahead and get my template peeled off here and then I'm just going to transfer it onto this piece of aluminum. I'm using 063 3003 like I normally do. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing cut out, blanking it out on the shear, and then band sawing it out. Um, and then I will start to try to form it to the helmet. Now that I have my piece all cut out, I'm going to go ahead and get it deburred, and then it's time for the fine, fine tuning. I'll be sanding and shaping and doing a bunch of stuff here, um, just with my angle head sander, just trying to get it to fit the center section perfectly. You'll notice here I'm simply just bending this with my hand and I'm gonna go ahead it doesn't have the, the right uh, peak to it so I'm actually gonna take it over to my shrinker and add some bends to each leg bending it with my fingers to it and back and forth and back and forth a bunch until it has the right pitch to the sides You can see here how that shrinker spreads these legs out a little bit and each time I spread it out um, it makes the pitch on the crest a little more and a little more. So I'm just shrinking it until it sits on here just just right. It's a pain in the butt but it, it works out and it comes out pretty well. Now that I have it fitting just right, I'm going to go ahead and tack this about every inch or so um, on the back section here. And then I will get ready to weld it onto the helmet itself. Before I go ahead and weld this on, I want to make sure I dress it down nice and flat so it looks nice and smooth like it's one piece uh, like it should. That's much better. Nice and smooth and shiny. All right, how I'm gonna attach the crest here is I'm gonna drill some half inch holes just off of my eighth inch holes that I have for my Clecos, and then I will tack weld it from the back side here. Just the e easy way of attaching it without showing any welds.
right, now that I have my crest welded on, I'm gonna go ahead and dress off these welds on the outside here where I went ahead and patched in the eighth inch holes. Um, and that will be it for this part of the build. Part five will be coming up Well, I'll do the ear caps and the final fit and finish. That is the rear vent crest video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Hope that was a little more informative than my last video that I did where I kind of not necessarily skipped the crest step, but I don't think I got it covered very well. So you can see it up close and personal here. I really like how this one came out. Nice and low profile. I feel like I've got this stuff all right or really close to how it should be. And then the rear vent nice up close look at that detail I'm really happy with how this came out and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed that video we're almost done that's video number four you've heard the spiel subscribe and like and comment and patreon and yada 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 um, so let's kick off um, the last number five of the series I hope you're, you've gone with me all the way through here um, so yeah my name is Matt Schwartz. I'm the Welding Geek. Thanks for watching this one.